Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of basketball, and that's Bronny James did his first press conference with the Los Angeles Lakers today. Him and Dalton Connect talked about their experiences, but of course we're going to focus more on Bronny. So Bronny just talked about being drafted overall. A couple of things he said was that it's a surreal moment for him. Bryce recorded the his name being called and put it up online and you can see that Bronny was emotional about it and he said that he's excited to get the work you know one thing about Bronny Bronny does put a lot of work in as well now he says that his him and his dad haven't really talked about playing together at least yet not yet um I don't know if this due to busy schedules or what but this is what Bronny was saying and also they asked JJ Reddick about Bronny no well Bronny mentioned it about Rob Palenka and JJ Reddick giving him opportunity now JJ said this was kind of controversy controversial Universal. He said he said that Bronny earned the opportunity to play. Now his stats at USC didn't show that, um, but I get it. JJ's the head basketball coach now. It's funny that LeBron and JJ Reddick did a podcast, and that JJ Reddick's the head coach. And LeBron also was at the press conference, but of course he didn't say anything. He was just in the background. Uh, Bronny also said one more thing as well that he wasn't given opportunity to play due to his medical injuries and i also feel like he was taking a shot at the head coach the former head coach there that's just my opinion but he kept emphasizing how he wasn't really given a chance to play so i don't know if that was a double entendre but like i said brondy was coming off the bench he looked out of position um they was trying to run offense through boogie and isaiah collier i don't think brondy should have went there in the first place he should have went to more of ohio state or some place where the coach where he can pretty much be the main player he just looked like a, another player out there and like i said i seen him get dunked on i seen him getting cooked he i didn't see him create no shots he just i don't know he seemed confused out there but of course he just like he said um they jj reddick did say that brownie will be playing in the california classic in a couple of days and also the nba summer league now overall a great interview by brownie again you're you're seeing more of him and it's funny that you just got all of this for a number 55th overall pick but now he got this multi-year multi-man hour deal with the lakers so clearly they with him for the long haul or until at least lebron retire you know what i mean but you know i i'm really i really want to know how this summer league is going to be and i'm telling you now if they let Brody play half a game or one game and not the entire tournament, I'm going to have something to say. I'm not, I'm not going to let it go. Because LeBron and Rich Paul, they have protected Bronny for a long time. And I had no problem with it in high school. I had no problem with it in high school. And I had no problem. Well, I did have a problem with it in college. But I'm really going to have a problem with it in the NBA. Because now you're a professional player making millions of dollars a year off of us and the fans and all of that. So, no, we it, it is, there's no more ducking and dodging. There's no more ducking and dodging questions. We want to know everything. And I'm talking about as a fans. So I don't want to see him play a, a game, a half a game, and then they sit him out and you don't even see him again until the opening season. No, you know. And again, and to the people who don't really like it, don't understand it, yes, is it nepotism? Yes. Will, a, will Bronny have been picked if he wasn't uh, Bronny James? Absolutely not. Nobody was <laughs> Nobody was going to pick him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know ESPN and, and all these other sites – or, or major media outlets they can you know they paint this narrative and they're great at that honestly but let's just be honest that ronnie was not about to be drafted and that's okay you know um working in the corporate world i seen it all the time was nepotism trust me even when i worked in factory work some of the biggest people that ran that company were brothers i remember the operations manager was a brother like the dude that was third in command was a brother the dude that was like fourth for the command was the cousin and then just some of the regular managers was all like they was all related. So I've been seeing nepotism my whole life. Even even growing up playing ball, you seen the guy who the dad might have had deep pockets and made huge donations, and the player played over somebody else. That's just how the game works. But guess what? If you still good, you can play and you can get ticked. So for all the people who say that oh, Bronny took somebody's spot, well, okay, there's 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 free agency. You can do the Pat Beverly route. There are many ways that you can get to the league honestly honestly so again you know i it's it's interesting to see how brian you know his first interview but like i said a couple of days it's showtime and ain't no ducking or dodging ain't no more excuses i don't want to hear nothing about medical injuries and you know well we got to give him chance no no you know it's showtime now as y'all see as y'all saw on the thumbnail but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think